What's up everyone? So I get this question a lot. How do I set up fleet software so that I can manage my fleet? And I'm gonna go over that right now. So this is Fleetwire. I've included a link down in the description so you have access to this. But uh, right away, we're gonna click on the 14 day free trial. You can email them to ask for an extension, but I'm gonna go over how to set that up. First thing, we just wanna create an account. I'm gonna just log in, and, or not log in. I'm gonna create a new account so I can walk you step by step how to do this. So um, it's not going through an already done account. So let's do this. Go ahead and create your account and then we'll get into the actual software itself. All right, so we are in and it should look like this is the first page. This is obviously setting up hours of operations. So pretty self-explanatory, just add what times you wanna work. So uh, if you are, if you want to enable, I can't even speak, enable operating hours, you can put uh, 24 hours or you can add any time of the day. Uh, you can prevent last minute reservations, enable away mode. So if you want to block out any times, uh, you can allow gas, guest cancellations or not allow gas, guest can, cancellations. I can't speak for whatever reason. Um, that is a premium feature. So you obviously need to have um, the upgraded version to this. But let's go over some of these other details because I think this is important. Depending on your tax rate, uh, depending on where you live, some uh, like short-term rentals, I believe, are 10% tax. And if you have longer-term rentals, they're at 6.5. Uh, you definitely want to check where you live because this is all uh, going to be something so long-term, depending on what where you live uh, and the state you live in because uh, all that stuff matters. So um, I need to adjust my term um my mic because i was typing anyways long term short term and so if you want to chat charge a, t a tax then that's uh did i just screw that up it doesn't matter we'll just go with that it's uh, one's short term and one's long term this is short term and so we want to make sure that we do a tax if you want to start collecting tax. Obviously, you want to talk to your CPA and your uh, know your laws in your state, so that's very important. Uh, taxes, add a listing. So this is where you want to add uh, a different listing. So for instance, we can import from like Toro, um, add a CSV file. We can add a listing here, a listing. So it'll say a Toyota Prius 2018 white. I just like to put a description here to kind of make it a lot easier to pick from the list. If I only had this, when I pull it later, it's gonna be very hard to figure out which one is which. So 2018, Toyota, and then Prius. And then I also like to add the plate number. So CHV 0144, uh, and then maybe white. So that's how you do that. $50 for the price and model vehicle model is required so i didn't know why that didn't take it but boom and now we have our first listing and we will save that all right so from here we can obviously see the uh the pricing if we want to give discounts if you want to fix security deposits so if you want to say uh, i want to do you know 200 for a security deposit um you know, all that fun stuff mileage allowance so you can do unlimited miles or you can do 200 whatever the uh, mileage that you want to do and the type of car. So typically like on Toro, uh, the minimum is like usually 200 and 21 cents a mile or 19, it just depends. Uh, we have a vehicle description. We can add some pictures in here, add the odometer, add any markups if there's any damages to the car, which is pretty good actually. Um, you can upload video um, images of the car. So if you want to say, add a picture here we can add the picture into the car so very important uh trip, trip duration so we can add if we want to add an hour trip day or week depending on what your trip duration is uh they also have a minimum age 25 is typically a uh, a good age um because you don't want someone just young to screen up your cars um Commission partners, that's uh, where if you do co-hosting, that's another option. Lockbox, so if you have a lockbox and that code for that lockbox, and then you can do connections with get around, uh, all sorts of different things. So pretty cool stuff here. We have history, so all the history of the car, the maintenance that you've done. So you can add records here of 
uh, oil change at 180,000 miles cost was say $54 and we can just submit. And so that's how you can keep track of your maintenance. And then it will say the calendar of uh, when it's booked, how much for, and that sort of thing. So a very easy uh, kind of setup. Uh, if we go back here, we can create an order. So if we have a customer, so let's add a customer here. My name is right here, so we'll just add it to my name. Uh, we'll go to create order, create order, customer, Brendan Duff. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, add a vehicle. So all you have to do to do that is you go down here, you click on add line, add vehicle. And as I showed here, this is why I like to add a description because if I just had a Toyota Prius, it does say the number down here, but maybe I have two Toyota Priuses that are uh, you know, 2018, but one is black and one is silver. Then you can just add that here. And then uh, it says quantity. We have zero left after that price. Uh, we can add a discount if we want. We can add coupon, security deposit. If you wanna add the security deposit, uh, very, very easy to do. You can just type in like 200, apply, and then that is the amount. And say we wanna have it from Sunday to the 15th, it will calculate how much uh, the price is. So as you can see, the total is $200 for $50 a day, plus a $20, $200 security deposit. Uh, we can add our commission partner here, and that is how to do that, and then just click on reserve. And so this will bring up the uh, customer name, the pickup when they return, the uh, type of vehicle, the invoice, how much it is, and what they're paying for. So as you can see, the invoice here will pop up, the total outstanding, the including taxes, and I didn't put any taxes on here, it seems like, but you can easily uh, include taxes. Um, and then you can print this, you can finalize it, and all sorts of fun stuff. So we'll go back. All right, so we have credit account, set up operating hours, tax rate, listing, created an order, so now we can track our orders. Uh, now we need to set up payments. So this is super easy, go to set up payments, and we can set up Stripe, connect to Stripe. So this is setting up your Stripe account. Uh, very easy to do, walk yourself through it. Um, this is what I use, it's my Stripe account. Um, Square, another option, uh, PayPal, which is under development. So um, I only actually use Stripe, so that might be something you might wanna use. Uh, as far as the next thing we have is setting up your website. So this is something very easy to do or very hard, depending on if you want to use your own uh, website, like a WordPress site, like I have, or if you want to use their actual uh, built-in one. There's multiple ones you can do. Uh, this one where you use their, um, it's already books, but this is one that if you wanted to just give someone your, uh, this website, then it will show their, um, your fleet here and then they can just check it out and check from here, very, very easy. If you wanna have a built-in website, um, I have that in our Discord group, so I'll show you how to walk you through that. If you're in a Discord group, uh, I'll link that description to join that down below. Uh, much longer process, this is the quick and dirty method. I believe if you use their integration method, uh, it is another payment uh, or a larger price, but I just do it through WordPress. It's really, really easy. I can sh uh, show you in our Discord not to add. And then choose your plan. Obviously, this is so that if you decide to uh, continuously use the software, then you might want to choose a plan. If we go actually to uh, days left, our current plan is a trial. Um, there's no add-ons really you need. Um, as far as the picking of the plan, this is the basic version basic. This is the trial version that I'm currently using. Um, this is the one I'm on because I do have more than five cars, but if you're just starting out, there's no reason why you can't use uh, the $34 a month version. If you decide to pay annually, it drops about $10 or about 30%, so it definitely might be worth it. Um, but the main thing that I like with this, the $69 plan or the uh, $89 really dollar plan, is the e-signature agreements. And in mine, I actually have my e-signatures uh, all done. So I'm gonna actually switch over to my account so you can see how that works here in a moment. But uh, that's how you set up, essentially, your platform. Very, very easy. Um, 
really doesn't take anything else besides that. There are some other integrations. So like if we went to, uh, let's just actually check out these last few things that I think are very valuable. All right, so this is your connections. You can connect to Toro uh, with this, but their API is not working because they, uh, Toro decided to get rid of their API so that people can't use it. Um, get around connection. I don't have a Tesla. I use Bouncy. I've included a link to Bouncy. I don't have an RV. Um, I don't have a motorcycle. Uh, Lula, I talked about previously. And then these two are super important. So I'm glad you waited to the end to, to watch this. So this is insurance verification. And what that does is it will uh, send them a link to see if they actually have insurance. They have to log in into their insurance provider to see if they currently have insurance. The second one is uh, the Stripe verification identity, which again is super important because what it'll do is send them a link. They have to send a uh, snap a sh picture of their ID and then do a 3D rendering of their face using their phone. And by doing that, it will verify their identity to make sure it says who they are. Um, there's some other tools uh, here that we wanna go over. So uh, very, very cool stuff. This is commissions. I've kind of talked about this already. Something I'm testing out on my main account. Uh, this is to enable your store. So if you don't want to have your own uh, website, then this is just an easy way to use it. Uh, if you pay for the premium package, I believe you can have your own uh, customized domain or just do what I do and have like a WordPress site and connect it that way. Um, this is uh, on the dashboard. Once you've kind of filled out all this information, this stuff will go away and you'll have your fleet uh, resources here. Show all your cars listed on the left under vehicles, and then the time and date that people can pick them up. So as you can see, I have my reservation here for today. This is just a demo, obviously. Um, so it'll have everything here, but uh, very cool stuff, I think. Also, this is the final thing I think that is super important. When you, what I talked about earlier, being in that listing that's the 89 or the 69, depending if you do yearly or um, uh, uh, monthly, documentation to have contracts where you can sign, have them e-sign your documents. Uh, I go over that in our Discord, so it's, and I give you guys the documents for that. Just adjust them to your uh, kind of company in a sense. I'll just give you mine and you make them the adjustments accordingly. But uh, I spent a lot of money on those um, relative, I guess relatively to what um, you guys are paying. So. Um, but ultimately this is amazing to use. Uh, you just upload your documents. It will have, you just click on add document, upload it here, and then you can go and actually put in where you want them to sign, uh, where you want them to initial, add the dates, uh, that sort of thing. So you have a concrete rental agreement signed online through their phone, uh, so that all the documents are stored within the app itself very, very important to have yourself organized in this business. So that's it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you uh, thought it was helpful, uh, I've included all the links down below for both the Fleetwire, Bouncy, and all that. So enjoy. Peace.